Hey everybody, welcome back to Art by Galen. I'm Galen Eilenfeld. Thanks for joining me this week. Uh, I got a few questions on my tutorial on how to draw the face and head using the Riley method. The questions that I got were, how do you use this method to also create children and male versus female proportions and varying facial types? I'm going to give you a little bit of what I do to study people's facial structures using the Riley method. Now in this time lapse, you can see that I'm drawing out a child's face here. I'm going over the photo with the Riley method, and it's not, it's, this isn't with the purpose of trying to create a piece of final artwork. This is for me to study. I can trace over the face with this, and then I can take the photo out of the picture when I'm done, and I can look at the structure. And once I have that, I can compare it with what my average structure is and see what is exaggerated about this type of face. Like for instance, this child is probably around nine or 10 years old. You see, we compare it to like a standard and you can see it's got wider cheeks. The nose is a little bit wider. The eyes appear a little bit larger. You can use the same method for comparing male versus female, comparing thin faces versus, you know, wider faces. But like you see here with this one, everything is elongated, you know, the, the the circle for the head shape is actually more of an oval. The, the circle for the muzzle and the outer circle of that are actually more ovals because the face is elongated. It's still the same O'Reilly abstraction. It's just changed a little bit because of this person's face. Whereas this face here, it's a little bit more wide and you still have the same relation to each other in regard to where the landmarks on the face lie, but by drawing these lines on top of these faces and then comparing them to each other, you can see very easily what the differences are between those structures. I hope this helps. I hope it gives you a little bit of insight as how you can use this Riley method to study and to learn how to construct different facial structures. Take faces that you're interested in, take faces that you're trying to create from your imagination and do this. Trace the O'Reilly method over that face and study it, look at what's different about it, and then use that to go forward. Anyhow, I hope this helps. I'll see you guys next week, and until then, take care.